Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So for such a slow boxing weekend, we got a lot of surprises. The first surprise was Chris Eubank showing up with a rainbow armband as if he was coming out of the closet or something. It almost looked to me like his gay friends had challenged him to wear this flag, you know, to show that he was really, really down for the cause. Or he was down to show people that he doesn't have to hide being gay. And then, of course, the second surprise is he gets knocked out by Liam Smith. You mean the same Liam Smith that was fighting Canelo Alvarez years and years and years ago at 154? That Liam Smith? I didn't even know Liam Smith was still fighting. So I didn't even watch this fight. Because on paper, it was way too much of a mismatch. I was surprised they were promoting it the way they were, but it's because it's the UK and boxing is really big out there. But they did a face-off. They made it seem like this was a real big fight, right? But Liam Smith, he got the job done. Knocked out Chris Eubank. Chris said his career would be over if he got knocked out by Conor Ben. So I would have to believe he feels the same way today. This knockout loss is not only bad news for Chris Eubank, it's also a little bit of bad news for Connor because Connor Ben could have been the person to get this knockout. In fact, if he didn't test positive for PEDs, now and after watching this Liam Smith fight, he would have knocked out Chris Eubank. He would have pulled off a sizable upset because a lot of people thought him moving up in weight to weight classes, he had no chance. If he would have pulled off the knockout, it would have made that a huge win. But he screwed that up. And now Liam Smith is the one getting the credit, becoming the first man to stop Chris Eubank. Here's how Conor Ben reacted. What are you saying, Dad? Wouldn't have gone past two, would it? <laughs> yeah. What are you saying, Dad? Wouldn't have gone past two, would it? <laughs> you know the worst thing about this whole Chris Eubank loss it exposes the poor business decisions that Eubanks has been making his entire career a couple years back Chris Eubank he had an opportunity to fight Gennady Golovkin and win lose or draw he would have got a massive payday out of the deal but because he listened to his father they turned down the fight Chris Eubank he could have fought the likes of Demetrius Andrade Jamal Charlo he had no interest in any of those fights. And now here he is losing to Liam Smith, making a fraction of the money he would have made against those big names. This is why trying to take the easy route does not always pay off in every way. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.